You came. Yeah, I figured I owe you at least that much. Made a shit ton of mistakes in my life. Chasing success. No. Being addicted to success. It cost me my firstborn son. That's why I wanted to protect Chiro. Yet, you killed him! All right, so what now? Revenge? What else am I gonna do? How'd you know? I was there. Was hoping I could bring him to his senses. But I was too late. No, you're the one who killed him. Me? All he ever wanted was for you to appreciate him. Instead, you treated him like shit. Son of a bitch. Take that back! Why? It's the truth, and you know it. It ain't. I just... just... No. You killed him. You did! Now go! Don't ever want to see you again. Ogar, I... Go! Before I change my mind! Hey, then, my friend. I'll miss having you around here. Now, Skullface. Well, you know what that means for you. Now, what does it mean? A, you will smarten up and let it all go. Or B, you'll head into the arena. In either case, I'll never see you again. I'll be the next champ. Why, of course. Most important thing is to have faith in yourself. Faith is a source of strength, no? All will be good, I'm sure. Is it just me, or are you worried about me for real? Remember when we first laid eyes on each other? Sure do. You said I looked like someone important. Hearing those words was intensely pleasurable for me. Just let me into the arena. Farewell, Aiden. Time for the final! Moments from now, one of these finalists will face the champion himself. But first, a little warm-up. Allow me to tell you a story. 2,000 years before the fall, a ragtag posse of bums led by Spartacus dared to take up arms against Rome. Our finalists will show you today what became of them. Let the slaughter begin! So what's this? Where are our slaves? Hey, man. We got your back. For some reason, the bastard's on attacking one of the fighters. Perhaps he's their alpha male. Well, 
always wanted to say that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Carnage Hall bringing you a musical interlude. Congratulations, you've made it to the finale. I prepared something from the formula you found. Apply it when Skullface releases the infected. Time it precisely. It doesn't last long. Hey, what do you mean it doesn't last long? Means you'll sweat it off quickly. You don't have as much experience with this as Skullface, but it'll have to do. You're playing games. Always but we're on the same team. It's like I told you, this place is my baby. I lost everything once already. For others, the fall was the end of the world. For me, I got my shit together and went back to the one thing I'm good at, entertaining. Carnage Hall isn't just a building. It was my salvation and I won't let anyone take this from me. Give me that camo crap. Excellent. Good luck. Abel. You asked who Abel was. It's Skullface. Wait, what? Skullface is the mask. Abel took it from the last champion to wear it. When he defeated him. Let's see if you can do the same. But Ogar said his son was dead. Because that's what I told him. Ogar used to be the best. He was invincible. But when someone keeps on winning, the show gets boring. So, you told him to throw the fight? He just had to hand over the title. I already had his replacement. Instead, that fool tricked me. Ogar was supposed to lose, but he didn't. So, I got Abel. Abel had everything. He was the fastest, the strongest. All he lacked was motivation. So I told him a story about how his father abandoned him, left him wounded, dying, and chose his brother. You lied. And who needs the truth if the lie makes you stronger? Every enemy Skullface kills has Ogar's face now. And what's in it for you, except creating that psycho? Matt's threatening to shut me down. So I made a deal with him. If I hand him Skullface's head on a platter, he backs off. That's what's in it for me. The show must go on. Time for the final battle, warrior. Good luck. Guards. This is it. The moment of truth awaits. Last chance to stop Skullface and save the city from imminent doom. made history. A true warrior stands before you, who spilled blood and who's challenged the champion. Yet there can only be one reward. Father's 
us here. Abel, stop! Ah! Astrid, lie to you! Now, I know we've all seen this once before, but it's still oh incredible. God, I had no Skull idea you were still alive. Losing. Oh, 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 oh,
new champion. Finish him! In the meantime, allow me to tell you a story. The story of a boy whose own father pushed him to fight in the arena. A boy who so hated his father for it that he transformed himself into a monster. A boy who adopted the moniker well, if it is Carnage Hall's former champion and its current traitor, Abel, son. It's me. A family reunion. This is getting interesting. Guards! Interrupted my story. But Abel knows it anyway. Right, Abel? You remember how your father ran off. That's bullshit. Thought my boy was dead. Forgive me. Poor fool. At least you remember how you were dying. How alone you were when he left you. Astrid lied to you. She told me herself. She made a bet with Ogar. He had no choice. That's always a choice. As soon we'll see. Abel, you dreamt of revenge for so long. Saw his face on every one of your enemies. He left you. He picked Chiro. Now he's here. Here in front of you. Kill him. I am so sorry. Able to! Pilgrim, this is the last you'll hear from me. And it means I'm dead. You did it. You stopped him. Stop me. I reckon I owe you an explanation. Don't want you thinking I took advantage of you. I want to believe there was ultimately a shred of good left in me. A shred of the boy who once dreamt of becoming champ and doing everything to achieve that dream. Care for what you wish for, they say. Because wishes tend to come true. I learned that fact the hard way. I was so hell-bent on reaching the top that I kept taking stronger and stronger stimulants to achieve my goal. Fighting became an obsession of mine. I stopped being myself when I stepped out into the arena. I turned into Skullface, the brutal and fearless slayer adored by the crowds. 
Over time, it became harder and harder to find my old self again. My body was eventually consumed by the ruthless skull face. His lust for blood kept growing. Contaminating fighters with anabolics wasn't enough. The ordinary residents of Villador would have had to be contaminated too. Women and children. My conscience was terrified, but it wasn't strong enough to take back control of my body. Yet I couldn't allow this to go ahead. Fortunately for me, a pilgrim soon appeared in the city. Well, you know the rest of the story. Thank you again for what you did. I want to believe you did save me in the end. And save those who would have fallen victim to my ambitions. Tell my father it wasn't his fault. And then I'm grateful for everything he did. As for Chiro, tell him his big brother is awfully proud of him. That was always important for him. Farewell, Pilgrim. <laughs>